I'm sure you've heard that paper is made out of wood. But how is it actually done? Here's some plywood. These are thin sheets of wood. Is paper also made like this? Is paper just very thinly sliced wood? The answer is no. There's a long process by which we turn wood into paper. Let's dive into the process. Let's get to step one. Step one involves making what we call as wood chips. Here's wood. We turn this into wood chips. How do we do that? We first wash the wood, remove the bark from the wood, and then after that we chop it into small pieces and this is what we get. This is called wood chips. These wood chips are then turned into what we call as pulp. Let's see how that's done and how it looks. So what we do is we boil this wood with water and chemicals and then we add color if we want the paper to be let's say black color we add black color pay black color dye if we want it to be white we add white color dye and then we get this mixture this mixture is called pulp once we get the pulp we want to turn this pulp into thin sheets of crisp paper you might be wondering wait a minute how is it possible to turn this liquidy thing into thin sheets of paper let me give you a food analogy have you ever seen a dosa being made have you ever wondered how that thin batter turns into a crispy dosa? Well, it's because of the hot tawa. We're going to do something with this pulp that's very similar to the dosa. So what we're going to do is called drying. Now, we don't have a tawa to dry this uh, pulp. What we're going to do is we're going to run it through two hot rollers. So here's one roller, here's another roller. These are hot rollers and this will dry out the pulp and make it into a thin sheet. Once we've gotten a thin sheet, what we're going to do is roll it into rolls of paper. This is how a roll of paper looks like. And in many factories, this is the end of the production and this roll of paper is sent to smaller shops where it is cut into required sizes. Some factories decide to cut the paper in the factory itself. Let's try to see how that's done. The next step is cutting. So this roll of paper is then sent through a cutting machine. Let's zoom into this cutting machine. Can you see the blades there? Yes, those are blades which will roll over the paper and cut them into the desired shape and size. That's it. We're done and we get our sheets of paper. If we had added some other color to the paper, it would look something like this, right? Now, what happens to all the paper that we have produced? People print on it, we write on it, we draw on it, and then eventually it turns up like this somewhere we get waste paper what do we do with the waste paper you might recall that we often sell our old newspapers and old notebooks to someone who recycles them right and if you've noticed we often even segregate our waste into different types so that it can be recycled effectively this waste paper is then taken for recycling so we take the waste paper and then turn it back into pulp back into pulp. Now how do we do that? We boil the paper with water and we wash out all the ink. We want to remove all the ink, all the printed ink or the pen ink that's on the paper and then clean it so that we can get pulp without ink. The pulp is then sent back to the entire process that we discussed. Let's do a recap of this entire paper making process. See pulp is at the heart of making paper. Now, pulp can be produced through two methods. Either we can get pulp from wood by, you know, making wood chips out of the wood, or we can get pulp through recycled paper. That's old paper. Recycling is very wise because in that case, we don't need to cut trees at all. And so that saves the environment quite a bit. After we've gotten pulp, what we're going to do with it is drying and rolling and then cutting. That's the paper making process for you.